Oh, it's going to come on. All right, Tech Rabbit here again. Yeah, so we could do another unboxing, and now we're going to have a look at. Um, Brand new Ryzen 5. This is a Ryzen 5 uh, 2600 mo model. And um, before I start on the unboxing, I'd just like to have, uh, go through the um, little bit of the process of how I select um, CPUs. Um, I have a very generalist way. I visit several hardware sites. And I'm going to put some of the hardware sites in the uh, description of the of this video, and then if you go to the list of channels that I've um, recommended channels that I posted for the, on on the cha on the channel site page homepage, then you'll also see all of them. But I'll, I'll put the, like the top two or three that I usually follow. And um, you know, I listen to all the reviews, basic on a general basis, uh, to be able to create like a general picture of the products, what products are available, you know, how they perform, and then how much they cost or estimated cost. Uh, also, because there's a lot of hyped products that may or may not exist regionally or locally. The market, so then I also do a, a kind of a double of analysis on okay, is this product they're reviewing what's the likelihood of it being available so that I can actually buy it at a reasonable price? Uh, I also tend to stay with um, mainline products that have been on the market like 12 months, uh, a minimum of 12 months. Or if they're new, then they have to be very similar to what's already been on the market. Because they're, um, with any new product, there's the possibility of bugs creeping in. So, so that it's more secure to actually go with something that's been used for a while. Uh, also, I look at the um, what I'm going to use it for. So usually I use an 80-20 rule. You know, what are you going to use the system for 80% of the time? What are you going to use it for for the 20% of the time? And then, of course, the ever, ever continuing problem for the for the most of us is, you know, how much money do you have? So I have to define kind of a top max budget for how much one wants to spend on the CPU. And you need to, when you're talking about cost per per, you know, cost unit per performance, uh, then you need to do like a customized version of that for yourself based on you know, your usage scenario, your budget. Uh, there may be sometimes a need to double check the um, if there are any platform specific requirements. Like, is there any platform specific reason you should only use? Uh, it usually is like, should you then use an Intel processor or should you use an AMD processor? And then you get into a bit more uh, heavy duty technical details, like if you have specific memory speed. Um, type requirements, uh, PCI bus lanes needs, uh, future proofing to a certain extent, you know, I do want to for a, uh, be able to upgrade the processor uh, in the you know, in the near future. But usually I give a, I've, I've, usually I think that a system should live, uh, I throw out a figure, there's like seven years with a three to four year um, check to upgrade certain things. So seven year for the total lifespan of the system and then after the three years of, the li of its life then one goes and says, okay, should I upgrade the graphics card or upgrade the processor, add more memory, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, it varies, it depends on how the market, um, market goes. As I said, I'm not going to go through any, uh, this is an unboxing only, we're going to have a look at the physical boxing, uh, what does it look like, uh, and um, you know, I'm going to leave, leave some links in the description of what um, YouTube channels I usually follow, um, because there are so many YouTubers that make endless reviews with thousands of data points, so if you're really specifically interested in things, but I, I think it's more useful to 
to look at several websites because they'll be running several different types of motherboards and then have different. Um, they 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 will um, tell you what their own opinions, summaries of how how they feel about the product. And this is actually uh, this uh, Ryzen five two thousand six hundred model has, or even the two thousand five hundred has been nominated to be like the king of the mid range right now. So. Um, it's actually one of the first times that I'm buying an AMD processor. Um, I used to use AMD when I was younger for quite a long time, and then AMD basically lost the game to Intel, and then I've been using Intel ever since. And now it's basically the first time that I'm coming back to AMD, but thinking they actually have a good value proposition that, that actually has a future. Um, I can't say that I'm a fanboy because, you know, if you know, if Intel comes out and wins the game and, and, and meets all these, you know, I, I, I go through my review process and then I find out that Intel's better, then I'll take Intel. I, 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 I'm, I'm not sort of dedicated to one or the other because it's, what's the point? I mean, it's a competitive, hopefully now a competitive landscape. But anyway, let's, um, I, I say like we get into the unboxing and see what this actually looks like. So that's the actual model. I wonder if I should just roll out and give the basic specification information anyway. Let's see if I can find the page. I actually open it here. So let's see. I'm sorry I should have actually moved the web page around so now can't no no I think I found it. So we got some basic. Okay, it's got six cores, 12 threads, um, 16 megabytes of cache. L3 cache is 60 megabit megabytes. Uh, 3.4 gig base frequency. You can turbo it to 3.9. We'll see how that goes. It's 12 nanometer technology. And this is very interesting. It's actually only 65 watts. So I think this is. Um, pretty balanced when it comes to power use. So one um, can hope that it will actually run quietly because it doesn't need, it doesn't need such aggressive cool. So let's open it up and see what we have here. So we have a, an instruction of some kind. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh there's Seems to be installation instructions. Oh, yeah. This will not fit into the camera, but it actually seems to have the whole installation process. Oh, that's nice. Um, usually, one ends up throwing these papers away because they are of no no use. And then we have. What is this? Oh, protected piece of plastic. Separate that out. Ah, I know the processor. Oh, I didn't actually show. <laughs> it actually shows the processor also in the you know window, like that. And you can like pull it out of the side. So this is this is what the actual process. And I'm not going to unbox this. Because as you see, it's got those pins, pins in the back, and I, I don't want to mess with those. So this is going to stay in there until the last, last second before it's done. Yeah, and this actually comes with a. Yeah, can separate the plastic quite nicely. And then this is just an empty cardboard box. That's actually nice because in our, um, in the location where I am, you, uh, you should short sort out your um, garbage so you should put the, like the paper cardboard in one one section and then plastic needs to go in another okay so here we have uh, the cooler and for my installation I'm going to do a, the standard uh, air cooling solution I'm going to possibly upgrade in the future to water based cooling but right now I'm just going to K 
keep it. Mm, let's see. So, I actually did cheat and I watched the video about this. So, this is one important thing to remember. That there is actually a um, uh, thermal compound already on that. So, so don't go messing with it. You can, of course, you can wipe it off and clean it off with alcohol and put your own own thermal paste on it. But, um, I mean, for as I am just a, a little bit of a hobbyist in this, I, I, I don't care. I'm just going to use it as it is. But now I'm just going to put this back into that box as, as it was also for the same reason for protecting it. And then I'm just going to keep, keep it together like this until I actually install it on the motherboard. And, um, I think the cooler was actually quite good. And that's quite, it was quite heavy. So I think that will, that will do just fine. But anyway, that was the boxing of the, um, of, the, yeah, a first AMD CPU for me for quite a long time. So I'm actually very excited to to um, see how it will work. And um, yeah, in many ways to s and And then, of course, the sad thing with any electronics, you know, the day you buy it, it's already out of date. So then the week after that, it will be something else that's better. So um, one has to also take that emotionally into the, into the decision process and, um, you know, yeah deal with it so, so maybe if I like I've selected this then probably somebody will come back in the comments like and say ah oh, but now it's this model is better well, yeah of course <laughs> things evolve <laughs> but I, I hope I, I am actually if I looking at all the reviews that I've gone through um, I, I think and I'm gonna combine it with other tech other technology because of course the a PC is not only the processor, then I think it's going to be a quite a balanced configuration um, that will um, serve my purposes as a maker, per predominantly as a maker, because I'm not a PC enthusiast. I mean, but I do play, I'm interested in um, gaming a little bit and um, yeah, video editing and, and things like that. So I think it's going to be, for me, it's going to be more of a general purpose um, computing than. Um, than dedicating it for one specific task. Okay, but I hope you enjoyed this. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to roll up with um, more videos uh, unboxing the, the components I'm using for the uh, PC upgrade I'm going to make and, um, and have yeah, an assembly video at the end. But anyway, okay. See you in the next one.